Imagine you're an American arrested by the United States military, not by civilian law enforcement, on U.S. soil. And imagine the military had the right to hold you forever. America is one step closer to that reality because the Senate last night voted 99 to 7 on a bill to authorize money for the Defense Department with provisions just like that in it. Here with insights is Oath Keeper and Constitutional Defender, former Sheriff Richard Mack. Sheriff, it's a pleasure. Welcome here. Thanks, Judge. It's Sher good to be with you. I'm Sheriff, sorry what, we're talking about such a horrible thing. What, what is becoming to the United States of America when the floor on the floor of the United States Senate, senators can actually debate and vote on whether or not the president of the United States ought to be able to divert Americans away from the criminal justice system and thus away from their constitutional rights, ship them to a jail in Cuba and hold them without bringing them before a judge or charging them with a crime. Well, it looks like uh, they're starting to promulgate uh, Patriot Act too, but I think this is even worse than the Patriot Act. Uh, I, I think uh, James Madison called it correctly when he warned us that the greatest threat to our freedom would be our own government. And he also had the solution. And the states must now erect barriers against what the uh, federal government is doing, Judge. We have no other solution. It's obvious to every citizen in this country who's listening, I hope every American is watching your show today, and especially every sheriff and local official and governor, that realize now that we cannot depend on our politicians in Washington, D.C., and our leaders in Washington, D.C., to do a simple thing, and that is keep their oath and follow and defend the United right. States Constitution. Right, Sheriff, you, they have now become enemies of the Constitution. You, you uh, have founded and uh, promoted an organization called Oath Keepers. And just for uh, viewers who may not be familiar with this, these are law enforcement officers who have taken an oath always to uphold the Constitution, even if a superior officer orders them to violate the Constitution. Question, will the United States yeah. military obey the government's orders and arrest American citizens and ship them to Guantanamo Bay, or will they uphold their oath to uphold the Constitution and defy the president? Remember, they did arrest people in the streets of Katrina. They didn't ship them to Guantanamo yeah. Bay, but they arrested them without charge and without warrant. Yes, and they also had door-to-door -door gun confiscation during Katrina. And uh, I was actually, I'm actually on the board of directors of Oath Keepers, uh, the organization I founded was uh, CountySheriffProject.org, and but it's the same premise. Will we have sheriffs and uh, local officials, uh, law enforcement officers in this country that will actually, when they swore an oath to uphold and defend the Constitution, do that against our own enemies in Washington D.C.? And Judge, I'm sorry I have to call a spade a spade here, but this is exactly what our own government's being. We only had seven senators. That means Republicans and Democrats alike join this abomination uh, known as uh, SB 1867, which allows the military to come in and violate the posse comitatus and arrest American citizens without charges, without trial, just put them in Guantanamo or wherever. And we've already had similar stuff coming from this administration when they killed Alawaki because they didn't like how he talked. So they said, well, you're not a citizen anymore, so we can go and kill you now That's the with danger. our drone attackers. That's the danger. Yeah, exactly, it is the danger. Right, the sh and, sheriff, and when the president right now, can you when the president can unilaterally decide yep. you're no longer a citizen and the laws that protect you exactly. don't restrain me, then we really, really yeah. have problems and maybe do have to look to the states for protection. Sheriff, you got a lot of work ahead of you. Thank you for joining us. It's always a well, pleasure to have you. American Airlines lot, filed for.